Hey, what's up? Adrian here. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to compare two popular workbooks from Ivory Setter. We're going to have a look at uh, Wing Shooter versus Ashby. We're going to have a look at differences, similarities, and uh, we're going to also uh, share who do who we think these boots are good for, who should buy them, who should not buy them, and other good things that hopefully are going to be hopeful, uh, helpful to you. And uh, to do that, I invited my friend and fellow boot tester for bestformyfeet.com, Adam, to talk about this because he is the person actually wearing the boots, testing the boots, measuring the boots. So he will have uh, uh, loads of first-hand experience with the boots, which is what makes us different here. We actually wear the boots uh, that we talk about. So without further ado, Adam, welcome. Brother, how are you doing? Good, how you doing? Excellent, good stuff. So let's get right into it and um, talk a little bit about your environment, um, what do you do for a living so people can can understand like why do you test these boots, why they are good for your environment. Okay. Yeah, so I do uh, welding and metal fabrication and sheet metal fabrication. Um, I'm on concrete floors a lot, polished concrete floors, so I need something with like a comfortable web sole mm-hmm. and these boots have those um yeah so good stuff that comfort is key for me yeah i mean i of course uh i've we've done a few videos and stuff and uh, you wrote a few articles by the way i'm gonna leave links to everything in the description if you guys want to check it out but i saw you standing at the you know at the pressing machine welding and uh, you know going up and down the shop so um that's 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 uh kind of the type of war boots um recommended for that type of, of of environment right because it's it's mm-hmm. uh, nice it's polished let's talk about the outside of the boot and then maybe you go uh, and talk a little bit about the features that we can see inside or the differences if you want and uh, we take it from there um yeah. uh, which boot do you want to start with well let's start, let's start with the with the toe cap because i i know that they have two different um toe caps in terms of uh what the material the toe cap is made with okay um yeah so the ashby is an aluminum, an aluminum toe cap mm-hmm. um that's kind of like the best of both worlds it's it's not as heavy as steel it's a little bit stronger than a composite toe mm-hmm. um, the wing shooter on the other hand is a composite toe um super lightweight super nice um as far as ASTM standards go, they're both rated for the same thing. So it's just a matter what you prefer. Right. Have you noticed like any difference in, uh, uh, for your toes? Like uh, maybe one is more spacious than the other? Um, Let's say the Ashby is probably a little more spacious, but I think it's just the overall design of the boot. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave, like I said, li- uh, a link to the article, which is more in-depth. I'm not going to cover everything in the video, otherwise it's going to be like two hours long. But uh, uh, they are electric hazard rated, both of them. They are slip resistant, um, both of them. Um, how about the leather, Adam? The leather, I know the leather uh, is different as well in here. Um, what can you yeah. tell me about the leather? Yeah, so... The leather on the Irish Setter um, or the, the Wing Shooter ST, it's it's good. It's just not as good as the Ashby leather. Right. Um, got an embossed pattern. Um, I was yelled at on Reddit for saying it was embossed. <laughs> I was told it wasn't, but it actually is. It, this is an embossed pattern that's on there. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but it, see all the all the uh, the grooves in it. That's all embossed. That was pressed into it. Right, right, right. We made it. Um, Oh, so that's 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 the reason you you can see when they're brand new you can see like a shiny coat yeah. to it right yeah it almost has like a plasticky feel you might be able to see it up here better yeah yeah i can see it it seems yeah. like so I that's can see it that was pressed into it when they when they cut the leather and did all that stuff so mm-hmm. i mean it's nice enough um they did change their leather color somewhere around 2020 they rebranded and the leather used to be this color it's more of orange right um, not sure which one I like better. If I like the orange or the brown better, but <laughs> you're buying them now, you're gonna get the brown, right? That's a, and that's th- those have a little bit of uh, um, uh, 
leather conditioner on them already or not? Uh, no, I haven't put any leather conditioner. Oh, okay, on. okay. So that that got quite dark. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, it really it, these really darkened up. If you go back, like you look at the, if you go back and look at my Instagram, you look at the like, the unboxing videos, and then you go back to like this. This is much darker. I was like, they really got dirty fast. Right. Um, the Ashby, on the other hand, this this leather is amazing. This is made at a Red Wings Tannery SP Foot Company. Um, super thick. Um, it's on par with the Red Wing Heritage boots and the Thoroughgood Work boots. Um, the uh, the leather gauge on it, it came out of like right around two point six. Two point six. That's so, that's that's so quite it's a about lot. A five like, and a half. Quite ounces. thick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's about a five and a half ounce leather. It's not quite like the uh, Pacific Northwest boots. Yeah, are eight yeah. ounces and like, over three millimeter thick. But it's pretty good. And this is probably the best leather you're going to get on a boot under two hundred dollars. What about the the outsole? Have you have you? Uh, I think I asked you uh, on 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 our private chats if you felt any difference between the, the between the soles being uh, one being more slippery than the other, or they provide the no, same. They're, I think they are literally the same outsole. I think the midsole on this. I'm not sure if you guys hear the wing shooter. HT, I think that part is the only thing that's different. Right, right, is, yeah. That's the same. yeah. I mean, I feel like I have good traction in both of them. Neither one of them feels slippery, so that's good. That's good. I mean, he, your your uh, welding shop, it, you, you're not gonna find too much water and stuff like that, or oil yeah, or grease. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we don't have to worry about grease or anything. Is if like the forklift starts leaking hydraulic fluid, so it's not very <laughs> out. In in terms of um, in terms of boot construction um are both of them at, uh, uh are good year welted boots yes they're both good year welted boots but the uh the wing shooter is a little bit better than the uh than the, than the ashby so the wing shooter you can see the wing shooter has a leather well right leather well is much more durable than the plastic well that's on the ashby mm -hmm. um lasts longer um there's less chance of it cracking yeah so which means it's a cheaper resale if you need a resale ashby on the other hand has more of a uh more of a storm welt style to it how it comes up on yeah, the I side see, yeah yeah it's going i mean it doesn't have the fake stitches that the thoroughbreds have mm -hmm. but it's kind of like that but it's plastic it's plastic right and this this is prone to cracking so mm -hmm. i mean it i've talked to some cobblers and a resale that involves rewelting the boot is about 160. You can wow. get this boot for one thirty nine on Amazon. <laughs> so, really that's makes sense. that's actually one of the reasons. Like um, uh, one of the reasons uh, when people say, "Oh, it's it's uh, not a good year, year welted boot," like oh, you know, for for cheap boots, like for two hundred uh, dollars uh, or less boots, it's not that big of a deal, you know, yeah. because you're not gonna resell it. I mean, at least at least I won't. I wouldn't resell it. You know, no. it gives, I mean, it's got a leg up in terms of durability over like a synthetic yeah. boot, but I mean, when it comes to resoling it, I mean, if it's under two hundred dollars, it doesn't really make sense. Gotcha, definitely. Uh, I remember in your um, article, in your review, you you said that one of your concerns uh, on the Winchester is the uh, the extra stitching on the on the on the toe cap. Yeah. Um, it's doing fine for me. Yeah, but this is the area of concern because you got a lot of stitching going on there. Not to mention, this is like a traditional style mock toe stitch, which is basically this piece of leather and this piece of leather have been pinched together. I don't know if you can see it. They're pinched together and then stitched. So there's a good chance that this can work loose. And if that comes apart, then your toe cap might fall off. And so I've I, had I some people ask me if they think. I don't think it is. I think this is just one piece. I've had people ask me if they if this is like a separate piece, like almost like a almost like the TPU toe caps mm -hmm. that you're seeing on boots. They're thinking people have asked if that's just a like a leather cap that's over it. But I don't think it is. I think the what's on the other side of that is the the closet toe. Gotcha. But that's something to find out whenever we cut these in half. Yes, yeah, definitely. For that uh, question. But um, they're still, they're still also, going strong for now, aren't they? In terms of the stitches are still strong. Yeah, yeah, they're still strong. This is the one area I see online a lot, though, where people have said their boots fail, or mm -hmm. this specific boot fail is right through here. 
Because once that comes undone, it's the whole toe cap's going to fall apart. Yeah. But I haven't had any problems with it in my environment. Um, if you're got a job where you're dragging your feet around the concrete, dig, dragging them through gravel, you should probably get like a uh, tough toe over it. It looks ugly, but yeah, definitely. We'll save the stitching. Yeah. Um, the the boot is it lined? I know one of them is lined. One of them is uh, 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 one of yeah. the other one comes with the waterproof membrane. Yeah. So the wing shooter is lined with a waterproof membrane. Um, tested it a few times, haven't had any issues. Um, the gusset goes all the way up to just the top of the first speed hook. That's quite so high. You got, you got a lot of waterproofing. Yeah. Um, I can't try to think of how much boot it was. I had a boot recently that was waterproof, but the the gusset stopped like right there. Right. So it's not really giving you a lot of protection if you kind of go up high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water, but um, the Ashby, on the other hand, is not – well, it's partially lined. I don't know if you can see it in here. I may have, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I got a good picture for it or not in the, uh, the review, but – yeah. So, I'll I'll check up on here. Check on the that. upper part of the vamp is not lined, yeah. but the lower part is. So you've got lining basically where the stitching is. You've got lining through there, but none of that's lined. And then you got mm -hmm. the heel coming. And it's just a moisture liner. Right, right. Thing. That was about to ask you. That does that doesn't stop water coming into the boot as uh, as uh, you did the test and. Uh, no, uh, it, I might be got wet fast. And also. <laughs> If the Ashby, I'll show you, the tongue isn't actually gusseted. I mean, if you want to call it one inch a gusset, but... Yeah, I know, that's... Yeah, so it's not gusseted. So if you get if water splashes up over your foot to, like, here, it's just going to come right in the boot. Straight inside. So. Gotcha. Um, do you, like, do you have any preferences when it comes to uh, lined or unlined boots? Personally, uh, I need... Or oh, I don't know. I like them when they're lined because they have kind of a little bit of padding, um, a little bit of foam, so they they comfortable straight away uh, as so you get I them like, out of the box. But I like the lined boots um, when it comes to safety toes mm -hmm. because it's like an extra layer of padding. Because I mean, I don't have the problem with it. I really don't have the problem with the Ashby or the wing shooter with my toes rubbing on the uh, the safe side of the safety toe, but. I usually feel it more in my right foot because my right foot's a little bit wider, but the the waterproofing like is like an extra layer of padding and it, you know helps me not to feel that. Makes it tolerable on the boots. Um, as far as preference goes, I mean I like the feel of the, the waterproof liner. It's just it kind of depends. Do you reckon? Yeah. You know one of the one of the things that um, people kind of argue against uh, lining is that they make their feet sweat. D did you feel any yeah. difference? Uh, you know, testing. I boots. honestly, I don't feel difference between the two. My feet sweat all the time. Yeah, all I right. can be what we call winter in Florida, and it's like forty-five degrees, and my feet are still gonna sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I don't, I don't notice difference. My, the boots feel about the same temperature wise. Um, the only boots I really have ever felt hot in are like the cowboy style boots that are like really tall. Mm -hmm. Other than that, yeah, these boots they feel about the same. I don't, even, I don't feel hot in them. But my feet sweat in every boot, so <laughs> <laughs> great. Like I, I now I have um, a pair of uh, Toro goods somewhere in here. I just finished the review, and they're not lined, so I wear them at work. Here, you know where I am. It's kind of always a little bit chilly, and if you work in uh, in a little bit of rain, you're gonna feel everything because it's not lined. You yeah, know, so I will say, I will say. Um, I guess it kind of depends on how good the waterproof liner is. So the the wing shooter liner is moisture wicking. So my boots are always dry at the end of the day. That's well, not at the end of the day, but by the next morning, yeah. they dried out. Whereas like my thorough goods that were unlined, they're always damp the next day when my foot sweat. And even these, not it's not so much down here, but they were they were a little damp and soft up here like the next day. But, Very interesting. But yeah. All righty. Um, in terms of uh, weight, uh, I'm gonna leave you know, maybe some pictures here for you know when I edit the video. But uh, which one is uh, heavier for you? Uh, is um, there any difference? The wing shooter is heavier. I can't remember the uh, 
the exact weight off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is just slightly heavier. I want to say the Ashby, I say it might have been one pound, 13 ounces. I one think pound, weight. 130, whatever. How, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one pound, 13 ounces. Yes. Um, I think that's what it was. I think off the top of my head, I want to say the wing shooter ST was like one pound, 15 ounces, maybe. Some, yeah, something two. like that. Yeah. One, one, five, three. The, the, the scale shows that. So I don't know how to read that. Yeah. It needs to be in grams. <laughs> 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 but, um, uh, you know, people when ask uh, on Reddit, especially, you know, on the, on the subreddit or whatever, uh, they ask for, uh, a very lightweight work boot. I always recommend them the Ivory Set uh, Ashby. Would you say that's that's yeah, a good recommendation? Yeah, if you don't need waterproofing, that is, this is a very lightweight work boot. It's one of the lightest I've used. Um, I think it weighs less than my soft to thoroughbred by a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's super light. Nice. That's very. You, you might have to do with the uh, with the toe cap a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe, because, maybe. The thing is, uh, the the sole in the Thorogood are heavier than than yeah. the the ones that the wing shooter or I reset the boots come with. Yeah, they come with the uh, the EVA traction treadmill sole. So yeah, or, um, that takes a little bit of weight. Here to there, it's just EVA foam, and then there's this thin layer of rubber traction tread. Yeah, um, so it's kind of kind of best of both worlds. You got a rubber sole, and you've got EVA foam like the sneaker, so. That's pretty comfortable. Definitely. I wouldn't say it's as comfortable as like a vibrant Christy sole, but it's also more durable. Those mm-hmm. tend to, the Christy soles tend to wear out really fast. Good stuff. Uh, I can't remember if you bought uh, bought them in the same width, um, but yeah, they're uh, they're both D width. D width, okay. Um, yeah, I would say I would say the Ashby is a little bit wider, a little bit roomier. They both come in the EE. Um, but yeah, my uh, my right foot's a D, my right foot's slightly over an E width, not quite an E. My left foot's right at a D. Um, don't don't have any issues with them. I mean, That's... they fit pretty comfortably, and they're true to size. In terms of uh, breaking period, have you um, felt any? The the wing shooter ST, I wouldn't call it a breaking period. I would just say I got more comfortable. Over like the course of maybe four to five days, towards the towards the end of the week, they just they're they're really comfortable. They never they never they're never uncomfortable. They're always you can just wear them. They they felt good. My feet felt fine at the end of the day. They just as they broke in, they got more comfortable. Mm-hmm. But it's not like a break in like the traditional sense where it's like it hurts your feet. You know, right, wear right. It um, the Ashby on the other hand, it did have a little bit of a break in period. I think it's because there's not a whole lot of leather here. So it took some time for this to break into my heel. I think this is kind of, this is kind of limiting how much it would break in. Cause you know, some of the other boots, like the third that you just got, you got more leather up here to break in and curve into your heel, mm-hmm. kind of conform to it. Then the other thing is they don't have speed hooks. Yes. It made it hard to get the boots tight enough to prevent heel slip until the leather broke in around my heel. Um, so, I did a uh, did like a lacing method where I tied him up, kind of, kind of like a heel. Uh, yeah, it's called a heel lock. Heel lock, yeah. Heel lock lacing method on him, kind of helped the break in period. But yeah, the only way for me to get them tight enough to prevent heel slip while they're breaking in was to tighten them up so much that it hurt across here. So right, they weren't uncomfortable. It was just some some annoying heel slip. That's all. But in terms of comfort, I think these are more comfortable. After after after, after they've the broken break-in. in now, yeah, yeah. After the broken in now, I think he's a little more comfortable. It just could just be that they're better. For, they fit my feet a little bit better. Mm-hmm. They got a little bit more arch support. So the you said the arch support. Do you feel like uh, one of them has more arch support than the other? Yeah. So the the Ashby has a lot better arch support. You can see how much you can see it, but yeah. The, uh, heel drop. A little bit thicker back here. It runs straight and curves down. Um, it's not crazy amount of support. It's just enough for my feet. Works great for me. The wing shooter ST, on the other hand, it doesn't have so much arch support. It's more of like a 
it's more of like a gradual slope down to the tow area. Mm-hmm. It's very, it's very flat inside. Initially, it wasn't a problem because the insoles were so soft. These are the stock insoles that come with them. Um, but as I kind of flatten about a little bit, the boots start feeling a little flatter, and I'm starting to have some, uh, some plantar fasciitis issues in my left foot. So I ended up having to get the uh, the Red Wing Orthotic insole. Nice. This one has a little bit more arch. Yeah, yeah. It's how's uh, how's the um, um, how's the feeling say, inside the boot? Uh, it feels pretty good. It doesn't it doesn't take up much more space. Actually, I think it gives the toe box a little bit more space because if you look at it, it's it's pretty thin at the toes. Yeah. Whereas the uh, the stock one's pretty thick down here. I think it opens up the toe box a little bit more, makes a little roomier. Interesting. I will say the not that the boots feel hot, but I don't know, I felt a little bit warmer with uh, this orthotic insole for some reason. I don't know why. More but, warm now. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe because of yeah, the uh, maybe because of the material they they come on top of the friction. Maybe. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think it might be just a friction thing because the material is different. Because this is uh, it's a little bit rougher. This is very smooth. That, that's actually that reminds me of something else. Um, this was kind of annoying when I first got the uh, the wing shooter. This is a very slick surface, mm. so I can feel my foot sliding around on this a little bit. I mean, I went away after a few days, but if there's anything that was kind of annoying about breaking in the wing shooter ST, it would be the stock insole and how slick the uh, the material on the surface of the insole is. Gotcha. And. Um... Who do you who do you recommend them to? Like um, uh, this is always something that you know I like to uh, talk about because there's many people you know uh, on Reddit and and other places where we are active. They always ask, uh, "Can you guys recommend me a boot for this, for this, for this, for this?" Mm-hmm. Um, would, based on uh, on your experience uh, now with boots testing and all that, uh, would who would you recommend them to? Um, I would recommend the Wing Shooter ST to anybody that's out at job sites a lot, actually working on site, um, working on a farm, anywhere where you might be exposed to water, just because there's a waterproof liner. Mm-hmm. Um, it just makes it sort of like more of an all around booth that can handle a little bit more. Um, so. That any any trade that's at a job site exposed to various conditions that doesn't have to have a defined heel. Not sure how it is in the UK, but here there's some companies that mandate you have to have a defined heel. All right, uh, probably here as well. So. I, I'm just not uh, not at the top of my head. Nothing comes comes to my to my mind now, but probably there is, yeah. especially if it's um, a heavily regulated industry. Yeah, and it seems to be seems to be all over the place here. I know there's some fabrication shops. The guys have to wear met guards on their boots, and mm-hmm. that really limits the amount of like the type of boot you can wear because there's only Definitely. so many of them like that. Um, as far as the Ashby goes, anybody that's uh, working in a shop environment like me, I mean, because you don't need the waterproof liner, it's super comfortable. The leather's super nice. Uh, mechanics, um, people. So you're working at like Home Depot or Lowe's. You're walking on a concrete lot. You have the chance of dropping a box or something on on your foot. You know, going up and down the ladders they have there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, it's like indoor trade, um, not a job site. So this is a great boot manufacturing. But I'd say if you're at a job site, you're probably going to have better time with the wing shooter ST just because. Yeah, of the def- definitely, definitely, yeah, probably. Uh, the w- the way I I see it, uh, the wing shooter, it's better if even if for those that have like uh, mixed mixed environments like if you need to yeah. go inside then you need to come outside so you know uh, if you have to go through a little bit of mud uh, water and stuff like that the wing shooter is going to be better um warehouse people factory people uh the ashb are great for that for that type of yeah. uh, worker I've covered everything. I think we've covered everything. Um, again, if you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, check out the articles. They're very, very in-depth. There's no other article you're going to find out there. That's We go so in-depth with this. Um, and we hope that's helpful. Uh, thanks, Adam, for being here with me. And uh, right. i see you in the next uh, video. 
Right.